Hello and welcome to this slightly different Fix It Friday video. Uh, you'll notice that it's just my hands here today um, and my face isn't on screen, but there's a good reason for that. Largely because the camera that records my face is here. So this is my beloved Canon EOS M6 Mark II and I love it to bits. Now, the video is not specifically about the camera, it's about the memory card that was in the camera. Now, it looks like a normal memory card, and it, it is, it's a SanDisk Extreme, and it was doing the job very, very well. And then an unfortunate incident happened. So this was in a card reader on my computer while I was transferring some video files from it. And basically, there was a gust of wind, and it knocked one of my mugs off the shelf and onto the card reader, and basically destroyed the card reader, um, which was a bit annoying, but it was only for cheap, so it wasn't the end of the world. But then I put the card back in the camera and I got this error message. Let me show you. Card's write protect switch is set to lock. So I was a little bit confused and I just thought, oh, the switch has just been knocked. But the problem was, this is where the card's write protect switch is, or it should be, but it was actually smashed out of this, which was quite unfortunate. So basically, this card is now locked and nothing can be written to it. I could read the video files from it, but I can't write anything new to it because basically there's just a little tab that goes there and um, it's been knocked out. And you can slide it up and down, um, but you can't anymore. In fact, here's another memory card with the little guy intact. That's what it should look like. But as you can see, this one is missing. So I did a, I had a little ponder and I did think I'm not entirely sure that there's some sort of actual physical way that the card is told not to write to it because this little switch is missing. I think it's basically something that the camera checks rather than it being within the card. So basically, I think if I could trick the camera to thinking the switch is there, then it might still work. So uh, yeah, I thought in this Fix It Friday video, I could basically make it seem like there's a little switch there, but there's actually not. So I thought I'd do that by using a tiny, tiny, weeny bit of this insulation tape because it's relatively sticky and just sticking it roughly where the switch should be. I'm not entirely sure if it's going to work. It might not, but you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. there's just a tiny bit of tape I'm just gonna stick it roughly where the right protect switch should be now I don't think this is going to be a permanent fix but if you don't have a spare card like I didn't then it might get you out of the woods for a bit so that's sort of stuck on there all right. Let's see what the camera says. Will it work? <gasps> it does. There we go. Can I record to it? Yes, I can. Amazing. Now the question is, will it come out? Yes. <laughs> I 
I'm genuinely pleased that that worked. So there we go, that little bit of tape has saved this little memory card. Now, as I say, I don't think I would use this sort of permanently. I think after getting this in and out a few times, it might wear down or the tape might become loose, but it's definitely a solution that should last a bit at least. And it just means that the card has some use. It's not just going to have to be thrown away. So there you go. So that little plastic tab is just sort of primarily there to tell the camera or any other device that this is right protected. It's not something that's within the card itself. So that was a relatively easy repair. I'm pleased with that. Well, there you go. Um, I'm happy with that. So anyway, that's it from me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. But for now, it's game over.